The Royals have progressed into the finals after a strong win over East Fremantle last weekend. Fraser McInnes got the ball rolling for the Royals, quickly followed by Samuel Power Pepper. For most of the first quarter, East Perth were in control. Shane Hill's goal would go on to mark a strong offensive push from East Perth in the second term. Patrick McGinnity took advantage of an open goal square. Whilst Luke Parrington made the most from a ground ball. Paul Johnson dominated the ruck and the Royals' pressure was mounting. East Perth led by half-time but couldn't afford to be too complacent as rain made conditions difficult. But it didn't stop Jordan Snadden producing a little bit of magic from the boundary line. Malcolm Company then joined East Perth's goal kicking list. The Royals kept up the intensity in the final term and put on another four goal hole thanks to Jamie Bennell and Malcolm Carpenny. But it was Captain Craig Wolf who led by example, kicking the sealer for East Perth. The Royals defeated the Sharks by 48 points. East Perth! Play football to play finals. So obviously, it's um, yeah, the most important game of our season, and um, I think the way we played today was was really um, promising. It's just about playing your role for the team and making sure everyone contributes. Um, it's very hard to win a game footy these days if, if players aren't, um, I suppose, putting in a consistent effort along with all the other teammates. So yeah, everyone just doing their little bit. I mean, it doesn't have to be any more than normal, or not, no less than normal. Just yeah, what you're supposed to put in. I think we're going to Mandra, so a little bit longer in the car, but. Um, we enjoy that ground and we've, we've had some good wins down there before. Um, so yeah, we, we don't hold any fears from any other teams, but obviously we understand it's going to be a big challenge. East Perth will play Peel Thunder at Bendigo Bank Stadium for the first week of finals.